2023 was an incredible year for movies, but with any other great year, there will always be stinkers. So here are my top five worst movies of the year. To start us off, number five, Meg to the Trench. For a movie that has a shark, a huge shark, in the poster, there were very little sharks in the movie. You know, I came to see Jason Statham's beautiful bald head fight sharks. And I only got very, very little of that. Why? I don't know. But that's what we got. And that is why this movie is at number five. Number four, Retribution. This movie had a cool story. Guy in a car, kind of like Speed. There's a bomb in his car and he has to keep moving. And there's a guy on the phone telling him instructions that he needs to accomplish. Otherwise, he will blow up the car. Also, did I mention his kids are in the car? It's supposed to be a great thriller, right? Unfortunately, the execution just was... Eh. It just... I didn't really care about the characters. And it, and it was just very disappointing seeing Liam Neeson giving it his all in a movie that wasn't really giving him anything back. Causing this movie to just kind of be a very forgettable flick. Number three on the list is Freelance. I really liked the concept that this movie presented. It was like, what if a dictator was actually kind of a good guy? And the real villains were the people trying to overthrow him. But also the dictator isn't really a good person. It's just like, he's just your better option. This movie tried to be a comedy and then it tried to be serious because it did not know what it wanted to be. This movie just felt off the whole time and probably one of the most movies I regret watching in theaters. Now, number two on the list, Que Viva Mexico. I hate that a movie that has such a good title land this slow on the list, but I just gotta be honest. I hate my time being wasted. That is one of my biggest pet peeves and I felt this movie just wasted my time. Why did I keep watching it? I should have probably stopped watching the movie an hour and 40 minutes on the way through because this movie just felt like seeing people argue and argue and argue. And at first I thought maybe these arguments that these people are having are just gonna build up to some different storylines. And it just, it just never connected. And the payoff of the movie was just disappointing. I really expected more. And it, it's sad to see this movie fail like this because the message of the movie was incredible. It's what drew me in in the first place but this movie is the second worst movie of the year solely because I felt that my time was wasted. Is it my fault I never turned it off? Yeah. Will this change the ranking? No. Now before we get to our worst movie of the year here are some dishonorable mentions. Movies that just barely missed out on the list. First one is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I didn't like it. I expected a little bit more, especially when the movie had a good story and just the execution was <laughs> And finally in our dishonorable list is Rebel Moon. I really didn't want to put this movie in here, but maybe I gotta watch it again. I just really was very disappointed. Zack Snyder created a beautiful, interesting world in his movie and Ultimately, the movie boiled down to not just being original in love. I, there were times where I was just sitting there watching the movie and I was like, why do I care about these characters? Now, the worst movie of 2023, at least in my opinion, is... The Expendables 4. When I say that I almost walked out of the theater when, spoiler alert, Sylvester Stallone's character died. I really mean it, but I wanted to give the movie a chance. And yeah, the rest was trash. It was awful. Now, I'm not, I'm not a Jason Statham hater. I do realize two of his movies are on this list. I do love Jason Statham, and he's really the only part that is worth watching in both these movies. Great guy, great actor, but Expendables 4 was a rough watch. And the CGI, bro, the CGI looked like a C 
W show. There's a shot where Sylvester Stallone is flying the plane. And the moment I saw that, I was like, we're, we're not getting a good movie, are we? Because, I mean, none of the Expendables movies are anything to write home about. They're just fun popcorn movies, right? You want to see old stars from the 80s and 90s and now the 2000s do an action movie one last time, you know? Just go out in all that cheesiness of action movies. And here, we got nothing. Awful, awful, awful. Nothing redeemable about this movie, except the fact that Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham are in the movie together for a bit. And even then, like, I think I'd find it hard to make fun of this movie with friends. I don't know what happened. It felt like that movie forced Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone to be in that movie. And that's why Sylvester Stallone said, please kill my character because I can't, I can't do this. And with that, that wraps up our top five worst movies of the year. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. I can't wait to continue reviewing movies in 2024.